In the next half hour, I've got some great Wildlife Wednesday photos to share with you. Uh, that's in just a bit, Aaron. I hope some of them are turkeys. <laughs> they are. All <laughs> yes, they <Spoiler> are. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> well, students at Gonzaga Prep out serving their community instead of being in class today. More than 800 students were helping to deliver Thanksgiving food door to door, and our Peter Choi was at the food drive and had a chance to capture their busy day. And some people say sharing is caring, and that's exactly what these local students are doing today. All hands on deck, delivering Thanksgiving food to those who are less fortunate. You normally see many students ride the school bus. Ahead of Thanksgiving Day, this school bus is special today. Filled with students who came to help fight who wants a bird? food insecurity a bird. in the community. Oh, students and staff at Gonzaga Prep School are busy gearing up for their annual food drive. As we're coming out of COVID, there is so much energy, so much hope, so much joy, so much desire to be in community. School officials say the energy started in early November. Students go and they just go into the community to do everything that they can. They wait outside of grocery stores, they go door to door, they ask family and friends for donations, and if they get those donations, sometimes they give them to the school, but oftentimes they go and buy food with those donations. And freezing weather can't stop these students from How many do you need? taking on the food drive. Everyone's here wanting to help. There's so many kids who deliver, regardless of whether their families are driving them or they volunteer. I just think that the love that comes from today is so important. The collective food items are delivered to more than 300 families in need. School officials say there are more than 101,000 pounds of Thanksgiving food this year. A historic record for the event. In partner with local nonprofit organizations, students are helping helping local food banks. Our community belongs to us and we belong to them and we belong to one another. And I think that as we come out of COVID, reminders like this are, are just exactly what we need. In Spokane, Peter Choi. Happy Thanksgiving! Orange now.